Hello everyone, my name is Zathardoc, and today I'd like to show you a brief tutorial on how to find Corel Video Studio X7's batch capture feature and modify the output setting. From my understanding, this is a new feature to the Corel Video Studio arsenal, which ultimately is the reason I upgraded from X5 to X7. Unfortunately, the batch capture is a bit difficult to locate if you don't know where to look. And as Corel Video Studio X7 only recently came out, there wasn't much information available uh, to not only find the batch feature, but to also modify the output files in an acceptable format. So I decided to share the information I gathered to hopefully save everyone else some time. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, the share button. This is the standard location as to where all video rendering takes place within the Curl Video Studio programs. You'll find multiple render options just like normal. You'll notice, however, that the batch feature is missing. This is what originally led to some confusion, as this would be the logical place to have the batch option available. Instead, you'll actually want to go over here to File, and then Batch Convert. Here you can select file destinations, add files to the list of conversions, and select your output format. However, here we find an additional issue. As you can see, the save settings are extremely low quality. I personally output all my files as an MPEG-4, and as you can see down here, uh, the settings are extremely low, offering a very small file size, but again with really poor quality. Now, to change this, you'll actually need to take a few extra steps. You notice that there's this profile button here, which allows you to add new profiles to the selected format type. So as you can see here, I have MPEG-4 selected, and I can just add a template name. But you'll notice down here as well, the settings are locked to mirror the original selection. This is a problem, as you'll likely want these to change. To do this, you'll actually need to first add a file to the convert list, and now this Options button is available where previously it was grayed out. Now simply select the Option buttons and modify the details to fit what you'd prefer. So you can go to General, change the frames per second, you can change if you want to do video only or video and audio, by default it's audio video, you can change the frame size, you can even go into Compression, change the video type, you can change the data rate to anything you want, something higher, audio frequencies, bitrate, etc. You get a lot of options in here. So, once you're done, click OK. Now you'll see all that information updated down here. Now, before you move any further, you'll want to add this as a profile. So click Profile, Add Profile, name it whatever you'd like. Test Profile. Click OK. And there you go. Now it's saved. You can switch to any of these other ones and you'll notice your profile is not there. So when you come back in, you want to make sure you have the appropriate file type selected, click Profile, and then change it there. Once you've selected all the files that you'd like to convert, simply click Convert. It'll go to your appropriate output location and you can walk away. Everything will happen without you at your computer. You no longer need to come back and convert them individually. Corel Video Studio 7 will just take care of the whole thing for you. And that's it. So I hope this was informative and saves you guys some time. Uh, if you liked it, please thumbs up, like, favorite, and subscribe to my channel. Um, on my channel you'll find much less tutorials, at least so far, and uh, much more just me screaming at video games and doing poorly. So if that's your thing, please feel free to watch some of my videos and have a laugh. Again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!